Look, I've got an exciting bag of bits. So let's have a bit of a look. But before we do that, let's see how it's shaping up. So that's the story so far. Our humongous back wheel, our curly bit of centre pipe, and uh, our seat back rest and seat. So that's what we've done so far. We need to start thinking about the front end. And in my bag of bits, it's some stuff to help us with that. So let's have a look in this bag. So there we have it. There's a headstock. Top yoke, bottom yoke. Got the shaft to go through. Got some uh, taper roller bearings. Got some bungs to go in the top of forks and some handlebar mounts. And then there's this bit here. This is a special bit. I've had this machined up to fit on the headstock just there. And that's what I'm gonna weld my crossbar to. So that should uh, make my life a lot easier. The question is, what are we gonna do about these forks? I think we're gonna use some pipe. Looks about the right sort of diameter. So this is the lovely part. It's the engineered bit. They're going to sit up quite nice and proud above there. And then I've got these bungs to put in the top. So, I've got to think about now how long I want these forks. Maybe I could just cut them off the same length and have some enormous great big long forks with a massive rake. Or I could cut them. So now with forks, it's the big dilemma. To go for long forks, which are cooler, but rubbish to turn. And one of my main issues is I can't put my foot down. So that's a consideration. I really need to be able to get a turning circle within the width of a road. Can't really afford to be backing up. Or do I go for easy to turn, but not so cool? Nice and practical to use. But that may mean that I've got to extend, extend the handlebars back a bit as well. So something else to think about. Maybe there's a bit of a compromise in between the two that I can uh, arrive at. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the fork legs long and then see how it looks it's a lot easier to cut a bit off than add a bit on. So let's get some tube cut up. Okay well I've cut myself two bits of tube which were a meter long. So those people who wanted an extreme chopper with a great big long fork so don't get too disappointed yet because the uh, the wheels 26 inch so the bottom of the wheel will be down there somewhere. So already that's quite a length. And these are about to get longer for a reason I'll show you now. On my headstock uh, the bottom uh, yoke, the diameter is bigger, which is the diameter of this tube here. But the top, the top yoke has got a smaller diameter, which means I can't get these through there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of pipe. I've got some pipe that's this diameter, and luckily it fits perfectly inside this pipe. So I'm just going to slide a bit down inside, which will allow me to grip the top of the pipe and it'll just strengthen the top of the, uh, the fork leg as well. So we're gonna add another inch maybe to them. So let's find that bit of pipe. So here's our smaller bit of pipe. That will slide down in there. So I'm gonna cut that in half now. And then what I'll do is I'll leave a bit sticking at the top so that we can get it through the top of the yoke. Need to come in a bit that much. And then I'm gonna put some uh, familiar sort of a job Drill a couple of holes, spot weld that round, grind it all off, linish it back so you can't actually see it. And that's what the two fork legs look like with 
all the spot welds in place. So uh, I can't see that that sleeve is going to go anywhere now. So we've just got to clean all these off now so we can get it through the uh, bottom yoke. Right, slight change of gear. I'm thinking backrests. So I've cut myself a template. Just got to cut it out of a piece of aluminium sheet and there's one of those over there. Right, after a lot of cutting and foiling, there is the backrest. So my next job was to temporarily pop rivet it in place. I was just going to put a couple, but I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop some rivet nuts in, um, and that'll allow me to just bolt it on and then unbolt it for when I'm respraying it. <laughs> 